Here's what happens with most people in their business. They're like, all right, time to build a business, okay? What's the first thing we do in our business? What's the first thing we do in our business? Okay. The business is the idea. The first thing we do is we got to market. We got to get it out there. We got to be seen. We got to be heard, right? People need to know about you more. Okay, the problem is not enough people know about you right now. Okay, people need to know you. They need to know who you are. From the marketing, what are we marketing? We're marketing, okay, essentially what we're going to give them. Okay. Nails, hair, coaching, uh, anything, you, you, you name it, okay? Products, services, programs, you name it. It's what you're giving them. And then after you give them something, you want smiles in return, right? You just want to smile, that's the, that's the currency? <laughs> oh, you guys want money, okay. And how much do you want? All of it. <laughs> Okay, do we see a problem here? Now, let's say this was an actual block. This was an actual triangle, okay, with blocks on top of it. What do you think would happen? Yeah, it'd fall over. And that's how most of you guys run businesses, like this, okay? That's what requires the hustle. That's the entrepreneur hustling 16 hours a day. I've been there. I've done that. Okay, you can't go on vacation, that shit's going to fall over. Okay, can't take any days off, it doesn't matter if you're sick, it doesn't matter if you're not feeling good. Okay, and so this is how most people run their businesses. And what usually happens though is they can't even nearly go this big. Okay, their marketing has to be smaller in order for it to stabilize. Okay, so you're not marketing as much as you can. You're not able to give as much as you can. So thus means you're not able to connect and eat. That's if you even get to the spot. Okay? If you're a hustler, you get to the spot. But, and that's why I love working with people. If you can make this work, okay, and make money here, shit, what can you do if you actually had a better foundation? Okay? Man, you can create a lot more stuff. Okay? So I call this... The next gen brand foundations. AKA, well, we'll get to that in a second, actually. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do to build the foundation, okay, is we need to start adding. And the first thing that's part of our brand is we need to be able to say why it exists. And the best brands, okay, in the world, their why connects to other people's why. So when you're building your brand's why, why does it exist, okay? Does it connect with other people? I believe everyone is different, unique, and innovative, and everyone has something that the world needs. Do you guys believe that? Okay. Your why needs to be something that other people believe too. They need to connect to that why. They need to be a part of that why. The only way is through. That's Under Armour's new slogan. And I love that. I connect to that why. Okay, what's your why of your business, okay? So I want you to write that down. I want you to, and maybe you don't know the exact why right now, that's fine. I want you to start writing a bunch of whys, okay? What's the purpose of your business? What, what's your deepest belief? I believe, okay? When Martin Luther King Jr. spoke, he didn't say, hey, listen, guys, I got a plan. What do you say? I have a dream that all men should be free, 
regardless of the color of their skin, right? He didn't go up there and say, I have a plan. He told people what he believed. People didn't show up to Martin, people didn't show up to the Lincoln Memorial, okay, to listen to Martin Luther King Jr. speak, okay? Probably a lot of them didn't even really know who he was. They showed up because they believed what he believed, that we shouldn't be judged by the color of our skin, that we all should be free. We all should be treated equally, okay? What's your why, what's your belief that everyone can jump on board and believe in, okay? So I want you to start just, again, brainstorming right now. Start writing down all those whys, okay, all those whys, okay? Take about a minute and do that. All right, let's go into the next part of it, okay? But that's one of your most important ones, okay? That's one of your most important ones. Why do you do what you do? Why does your business exist? What's the belief, okay? What's the movement that your brand is creating, okay? Disconnect from money, okay? Let's say money doesn't exist. What does your business believe, okay? Do other people believe that too? Can people hop onto it, okay? So your why shouldn't it be just for other people because then you're going to burn out. Your why shouldn't it be just about you either. That's selfish, okay? Your why should be about you. You should connect with it just as much as everybody else, okay? All right, next one. What's the way that you do it? Okay, so uh, I was having a conversation with uh, um, one of my friends, and he said, hey, that, there's this other person that kind of does similar to what you do, okay? They, they help people build a unique brand, and then I started to explain our process. Well, we don't just coach people, okay? We coach people, and we actually give them our team to help them get it done, okay? We give them our team so we can start putting together these systems, okay, using branding and influential strategies, okay, the mind and body to help create more alignment in our message so it creates more influence. And when I started to explain our process, okay, and the way that it was different, okay, he goes, wow, I really like that actually. That makes a lot of sense, okay. So even though I had a similar why, okay, and a similar business to someone else, my recipe, the way that we are doing it, is a lot different, okay, does that make sense, okay, this is your next gen, what makes you next gen, okay, what's unique and different and innovative, okay, so I want you to start writing again, so I want you to write way on your paper, and I want you to start writing all the things that are unique and innovative about what you do, okay, I keep using the example of when I was a personal trainer, it wasn't just training, it was nutrition coaching, I was helping them with their hormones. I was helping them with their mindset. I had so many different industries, okay, into one that made it more valuable and different and unique. No one else was doing that, okay? So it makes me stand out in the crowd. What makes you stand out in the crowd through your recipe, okay? So start writing all those things down. All right, let's go into the next let's go into the next part. So you got your why. Hey, here's why why we do what we do. Here's what I believe in. Okay? Here's our recipe. Here's the way that we do it. Okay? The next one is who do you work with? And the answer is not everybody. Who do you help? Here's how I know someone's new in coaching. Yeah, I help people with their mindset. Well, who do you work with? Everyone that wants to change their mindset. Oh, I know everyone that would need that. How, are, how is someone supposed to pass on that message to somebody? Okay, it makes it really hard. Okay, here's something I want you to write down. The riches are in the niches. Okay. The riches are in the niches. Specifically, who do you work with? Okay, who do you work with? And who's your ideal client? Who 
Who's your ideal client? I said this yesterday. Who remembers? You. Okay? You know yourself the most. You know what you've been through. You know what that person is going to go through. Okay? We are, all ver- like, we are all versions of each other in this room, right? We all have similarities about us, okay? Within those similarities, there's a lot of differences, okay? And that's, this is critical because then when we go to market, we're not talking to everyone. We're talking to that one specific person. And then when you start to get into the paid advertising aspect, which probably isn't something you'd want to do right away, but once you go, then you can get specific. I'm targeting people that are 25 to 30, okay, that have this income, that live in this place, that love sports, okay, that have this type of business, and you could legitimately pull out this exact person to put your message in from, and now they're scrolling, they're seeing all this generic bullshit, right, but then they come up against yours, what is yours going to do? It's going to stand out. Here's how you know you hit it on the head. Here's how you know you hit it on the head. Wow. They explained it better than I could even explain it for myself. They told, they put how I feel into words. They put how I feel into words. Because that's a lot of your clients. Okay? They feel it, but they don't know how to explain it. Okay, but you can't do that if you're talking to everybody. Okay, you're just a generic person that people look over. Okay, so who do you work with? Okay, and so who is, what's the difference between psychographics and demographics? Yeah. Okay, so demographics, okay, so demographics is age, okay, are you single, are you married, where do you live, okay, psychographics, what do you believe, what's your pains, what's your pleasures, what have you been through, what do you love, okay, all right, so what do you think is more powerful, focusing on the demographics or the psychographics, psychographics, if you're trying to target demographics, you could be missing the boat, there's a lot of mature people in this room, and you've probably been through shit that most people haven't been at your age. If you're trying to target someone similar to age, they might have not even gone through that experience yet. Okay? They might not connect with it. So you're missing connecting with the client because you're so focused on the demographics rather than the psychographics. Okay? Is this making sense to you guys? Okay? So I want you to write on your paper who I want you to put demographic Okay, and then psychographic, and then I want you to fill out both spots. I'm not saying ignore demographics, but I'm saying the psychographics is going to be that much more detailed. Okay, so take a couple of minutes. All right, last one. So we got our way, we got our why, we got our who. Last one. What is the transformation that takes place when you work with them? When they buy your products, when they purchase your services, okay? What's the transformation, okay? And it needs to be tangible and intangible. What's the difference between tangible and intangible? So tangible is something we can measure, we can touch, we can taste, right? We can feel intangible is is not okay so so our transformation that we provide so our what with next gen is we use an acronym the it life influence okay is that tangible or in intangible you can't measure you can't really measure influence can you it's really hard it's intangible okay income is that tangible or intangible tangible, tangible. okay time freedom Kind of both a little bit, right? So I kind of fill in the gaps nice and easy between those, okay? So you can be an acronym, okay? The IT, life, influence, income, time, freedom, okay? It has to be both, okay? So here's a personal trainer 
uh, incomplete what? I help people feel better and feel more confident. Okay? Is that a tangible or intangible? Intangible. Okay? And so there's a gap. There's, there's missing something. Now, on the other, then on the other side of that, okay, intangible, now it's just like, I help you drop more weight, lean up, and develop a six-pack. Okay, tangible and intangible. Tangible. But if we provide both, now it makes it more attractive. It makes it more sexy. Okay? And if you just focus on the tangible, I think you're fucking up people, in my opinion. I think you're making it all about having something rather than being something. Okay, your brand should provide both. And I think early on in my career, I really focused just on the tangible, and I felt like I was building monsters in my clients. I'd have, I'd have women that literally had 10% body fat, and they're like, see this right here? How do I get rid of this? What? I don't even see anything, right? So obviously I didn't focus on the intangible of feeling confident and loving who you are in your body regardless of what size you are, okay? All right, so there has to be an intangible and there has to be a tangible, okay? So again, same thing, write on your paper, intangible, write out all the intangibles you provide. Tangible, what are all the, in, the tangible things that you provide, okay? All right, so I call these the four W's. Okay, the next-gen brand foundations, the four W's. 